Hey Virgo, how's it going? I started your video. <laughs> I thought I did. I started pulling cards. I was talking away and I, I never, I thought I hit the, I thought I hit the record button, but I didn't. But anyway, I pulled out some cards here. Kisses, the sword in the rose and hammer. Okay. So there's some truth coming out. I feel like you're going to get some communication. Um, somebody's going to reveal some truth to you, give you some clarity that they're longing for you. They love you. You know, um, they're in love with you or they're falling in love with you. Uh, they want to kiss you, that kind of thing. Um, and rebuild or build something with you here. Okay. And this person is going to be very persistent. Uh, they really want to work on this thing. Okay. So asking a lot of questions as well with that interrogation. Somebody's going to be putting you under the light. They're going to bring the hammer down and do you want me? Do you want to be with me? Uh, do you feel the same way I do? This is like a, a very direct energy with this person, you know, really being direct coming forward. Let me get a couple of, let me get a couple of love messages here. Okay. Yep. There's chemistry, very strong magnetic attraction. Somebody's really drawn to you, Virgo, or will be in the month of June. This could be somebody you're currently engaging with or dealing with right now. This could be somebody coming in. And well, we have the rest of June, a couple of more weeks, I believe. All right, let's see what else. Oh, past life relationship. You've known each other before. Okay. It, either it feels like this, or this is someone from your past who's coming in with some truth here. They love you. They want to be with you. Like physically. They want to be, they want to express their love physically. Okay. And whatever was going on or whatever is there's any kind of sabotage here i feel like somebody's showing up here and wanting to build something overcome that kind of stuff that sword that feels like an ace of sword energy this is going to happen very quickly you know and this is an energy of overcoming obstacles like whatever the problems are we're going to overcome these we're going to this person coming in very direct very direct wanting to try to deal with something here Okay, past life relationship, obviously. All right. All right, let's get into the reading. Let's get a little bit further into this and see what's going on here. Okay, the Nine of Cups. Oh, somebody, and the Hangman. So, Piscean energy. Somebody's having like um, seeing things differently. This person, whoever they are, coming in with this. Oh my gosh, your wish come true. You're the one I want to be with, Virgo. You know, um, I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm feeling a certain way and I haven't felt this way before and, and I'm, I can't, like I'm seeing things differently. This is what I feel like this energy is that's coming in here. <laughs> this person has been waiting for this time to expose or express how they feel and also try to find out if you feel the same way. All right, what else is going on here? Okay. Oh yeah, Five of Pentacles and Six of Swords. This person's been left out in the cold. They're feeling lost. They're feeling, oh, it, it, whether they're feeling this way or this is actually what's going on, um, this person is like, I got to get out of here. This is like being stuck on a stranded island by themselves. No ships are coming. So they're going to build a ship and set sail to your your grounds, you know, to, to back home. This is what I feel like. And this person knows, it feels like, it feels like to me, um, you're not the one who's going to be the first one to say anything. Um, and because of that, because you're not initiating, expressing yourself or initiating, you've got this person feeling or a, like it seems like they're by themselves out here and they got to get to your shores. They, this like they're going to paddle their way to you something's going on here Virgo where it feels like because you're not saying anything or because you're not initiating something here this is causing this is physics this is causing somebody to you know put the oar in the water and start paddling really fast I don't know if this if this is a past thing this person is like oh like oh shit I'm losing Virgo or if this is somebody you're current dealing with this you know, this is like, I got to do something because I don't know how Virgo feels. That's why I was saying it was like asking, I feel like this person can be asking you a lot of questions, trying to gain clarity, trying to find out like where you are, what you're doing. I f it just feels like um, somebody's initiating and taking the lead here to, 
get close to you trying to get close to you okay wow crazy energy page of pentacles king of wands okay could this is our first court card so it could be a fire sign um so the king of wands for some of you is going to be a leo could be an aries could be a sagittarius um yeah so let me see here there's i feel like there's going to be communication coming in um from this person something to do about purchasing some tickets um it could be communication about purchasing some coin some pentacle energy investing plans ideas that could be the start of a communication um somebody here trying to drum up some dialogue with you okay um and also saying like i have big plans for us this person coming in with like i've got big plans for us i you know let's um maybe give you a loan or, or ask you if you want to invest in something this is their way of coming into some kind of financial agreement i don't feel anything deceptive it might even for some of you just be to see what you would say this person is weird it's like they're gauging how you like gauging how you feel about them by if you're willing to go and invest in something with them or it's such a weird message or do something with them or if you are interested in their plans and or ideas uh like if they um how would you feel virgo if you know i get us tickets to go to a show or they just come up and say oh i got us tickets to travel or to do something wow okay yeah you're getting a love proposal look at that look at this you're getting a love proposal from somebody big time it's either marriage or it's just some kind of like admiration or i love you or something along those lines i'm not feeling any shit stain energy here today i don't know what's going on i'm sure now that i said it it might come up but whew. all right let's see you know if you know this person already man this person's like crazy in love with you and you might just be like i don't think so i'm, I'm not really seeing that but i'm telling you this could be like um making some kind of an offer um a, a love felt offer could be about getting together with family um the, this person for some of you asking if they could meet your family or vice versa inviting you to meet theirs i don't see you virgo initiating anything here i feel like all this is coming from this person they're putting the hammer down you just have to bring the nail <laughs> they're hoping you want to get nailed by them <laughs> stop stop we are fully censored here us virgos we never say things like that stop all right let me see what else is going on oh now we got a king of pentacles oh look no that's you so here you are king of pentacles with the moon you're like shh virgo virgo's hiding out virgo's being kind of shady virgo's being a little sketch yeah you're like Virgo's all like up in their reserved energy. That's why this person's coming in like this because you're not saying nothing. That moon, you know, you're being, you're giving off a vibe of being kind of deceptive in a way of like trying to make this person think that you're not interested or, um, you know, you're not showing your emotions, which is what the moon is. That's like a way of just, you're withholding. That's really what you're doing. You're withholding, you're doing your work you're getting your pentacle you're doing whatever you're focused and concentrating on your own investments and doing your own thing and this is very attractive to this person very very attractive and that's also piscean energy there so some of you might yep yeah, look at you say so they're just telling me to get into this about you you've got the four of cups here and the world oh you're acting like completely disinterested like you just you're like yeah so what do you think what you, th you think i like you <laughs> virgo you're just kind of like you know i could leave this at any time I i'm not you know i'm just doing me like i'm moving forward in my life with the world like i'm closing old chapters and writing new ones and you're just drawing this person to you because you're not like i don't see you being in this position where you're like oh, i gotta i gotta i gotta i gotta have this relationship first and then everything else 
I'll work on. No, I feel like you're like everything else I'm working on right now. And if the relationship comes and somebody's interested and they're, you know, going to show up the way I need them to show up, well, I'll, I'll entertain it, you know, but you're just like, mm -mm, you're not, I'm, I don't feel any anger. I don't feel like any jaded or bitter or any of that energy. I just feel like you are, hey, you show up at my door with bloody stumps, we'll talk. Otherwise, you know, you got to keep it moving. Right, you're not trying to you're not trying to lasso anybody in here. Um, some of you, I just heard, been there, done that, not doing that again. You know, you, you because you put out all the energy all the time, Virgo. You do as much as as much as possible. You're always the one who was seeking or searching, and now you're like, no, I'm staying still and just doing me, and I'm attracting love, and this is what's happening. You're attracting someone into your life. It could be another Virgo, another. It could be a Capricorn or a Taurus. We got Pisces, um, twice. We have Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Also with the world, we're showing some elements of Aquarius and Scorpio. Okay, let's see. Who are we talking about now? Oh, okay. Virgo, this person's coming in to conquer the heck out of you. Oh yeah winner winner chicken dinner um it would mean everything to them if they could if you would accept them they would feel on top of the world here they just want they want you to recognize them they want you to pay attention and they're going to do everything they can to get your attention to gain your attention um i'm talking cartwheels i'm talking joker energy you know if the fool shows up there you go but you know, Virgo, I see you here. Look at this. You've got the ten of ten of wands. You're like, work, 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 work. You're exhausted. You're doing your thing. You're not even paying attention when this person comes around. You like even if they're even if they're not around you yet or anybody's there, you're just like, you know, you got your back turned. You're carrying your bundles of wood. You know, you got to get that fire going in the fireplace. You're, you know, you're out there collecting the wood and, and doing whatever you're doing. <laughs> and that's just symbolic. I mean, maybe some of you are. You could be like in your backyard picking up some sticks and all of a sudden you get a message from somebody. But this is just basically like you have your back turned. You're not even paying attention. Not even paying attention. Oh, this person, wow, look, they want to put in that consistent effort. I mean, this, honestly, like this person, they if you knew them before, they're absolutely crazy about you now, more than they ever were before. Or if you don't know them and they show up, that's the energy it's going to play out. And if you're currently dealing with, you're having a huge emotional effect on this person. I mean, it's like magnetic attraction as well. They're very attracted to you. Because you don't, it feels like because you just don't give, you're like very indifferent here with the Four of Cups. You're, it's almost like you're kind of, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. What's meant for me will be for me and what's not won't be. And I don't have to worry about it. Your energy is great. You're getting involved in your life. You're doing the things that you like to do and making yourself happy. So I love it. Some of you are just blocked. You're like, no, I don't see no evil. I don't hear no evil. You're just blocking. Some of you might have actually blocked this person. Um, some of you might have not blocked them, but you're just not paying attention. You know, you're all up in your own, protecting yourself, protecting what's yours. You know, you're not letting anybody take anything away from you. You're not giving anything up freely. You're just sitting there and you're making your own decisions. Like any decision that you're making in your life at this point going forward, from this point going forward, is coming from your, your core, how you feel about it, what you want, you, what your intuition is telling you, what your gut is telling you. And you're listening to it. You're not questioning it. You don't have like two little, a devil and an angel on your shoulder. You've chosen one and you're like, I'm, I'm listening to this one. Because when there's that, when they're, that devil and angel on your shoulders arguing with each other, it causes confusion. You're like, I'm sick of y'all. I got to pick a lane. I got to pick a side and I got to just drive in that lane and just stay in that lane. And, and Virgo, you're not swerving all over the place. You're just staying in your lane. Let's take a look more at this person. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Like I said, 
could be um, another earth sign. Um, okay, this. Okay, they just said this person may even want to try to buy you a car. They just bought a car, or they just got a new car, or they just got a car. Okay. Um, hmm. So maybe some of you might have as well. I feel like this person is going to be traveling toward you. Okay. Um, with the way gas prices are, they might actually be showing up on an actual horse who can afford the gas right now. So, um, yeah, this is the yin and the yang. They're bringing balance. They want to bring balance. This is the yin to your yang, whoever this person is. Okay. Um, and for some of you, like I said, you might already be involved. Oh my goodness. Come into your home. You're going to find this person driving to your home. They're going to show up at your door. I mean, I feel like they're going to let you know first, but yeah, this person's like the four of wands. They, they, they feel that, you know, oh, happily ever after energy. Like they feel that want to build a home with you or, um, Okay, um, so they just said this person might actually go to the hardware store and get you some stuff for the house you're building. I don't even know if anybody's building a house, but they just said they're going to show up or drop some stuff off at your house. Um, whether you're building your house or you just bought a new home or you're buying a new home or you're moving, they're going to bring some stuff over to or help you move, I just heard. They're going to offer that. <laughs> I'm trying to get some feelings here, but Spirit just keeps telling me what this person's going to do. All right, let's get some feeling. You know what? We're going to, I'm going to try a different deck because I want to see what the emotions are of this person. I mean, it's pretty obvious that they have um, feelings for you, you know, uh, it, because of the affection and, and falling in love or have fallen in love with you and or are falling more in love with you each day. All right, let me see you know what they just said okay they just said get a couple of messages of love okay fate this is a destined partnership okay play hard some of you are playing hard to get mm, that's what's attracting this person it's not a game i don't feel like you guys are purposefully um playing hard to get i just feel like it looks that way because you're just disinterested or you're just indifferent um to any suitors or anybody that's just trying to hit you up i mean some of you are like not texting back right away you're not returning phone calls right away and you're not playing games and i don't feel like you're doing it on purpose i just feel like you're like all right i'll get to you in a minute i got stuff to do like <laughs> virgo i love who you are right now i <laughs> just do i just feel like you you know i got you know if you're going to come over here with your bloody stump, that's great. But if not, I got my own bloody stumps to deal with, right? Some of you are just like not entertaining shit stains. That's just it. And some of you are not even, whether you know they're shit stains or not, just not even engaging. Okay. Now for some of you, this person, you know, if anything, coming in to be with you spend time with you it's like they just want to laugh they want to just uh, i'm just hearing like i don't it's like so it's fine time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other so this is like spend time with you doing fun things and you know riling each other up or um, goofing off light and easy I feel like this is this person's intentions here with you. They just want to have, they want to have more fun. They want to really play hard with you. And I feel like there's teasing energy because like I said, I kind of get a sense that you're giving off these playing hard to get vibes. And then this person, I feel like they're going to start poking at you because they're trying to rile you up. They want that attention from you, you know? So there's a little bit of like... It's like some wittiness or a little bit of, um, you know, tossing the ball back and forth at each other, that kind of thing. But it's, it's like fun. It's not anything. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Strictly sexual. This connection is passionate, but not enduring. <laughs> Interesting. They throw in a, a wrench in the wheel here. 
Oh, I see what they're saying. So there is a very strong physical attraction. I mean, there's no doubt, okay? That part is passion, long-term passion, that, that is never enduring. It doesn't mean, so if, the, if you feel like this relationship is just strictly sex, of course it's not going to be enduring because it's impossible. You know what I mean? Like, like passion, we, we just don't, are, we don't have the capability to stay fired up, um, like long term without any breaks. There has to be breaks, right? So if it's a strictly sexual kind of relationship, there's going to be breaks in between that. That's not going to endure long term. The actual, you know, creating the bond and the love and being together, that's enduring. That will endure. Um, so I feel like the message here is like the, the sexual aspect of it. If you know, you guys have that physical intimacy with each other, that part will be like, there'll be a lot of it, very strong, very passion, passionate. If you engage in that with this person, and then there's going to be the breaks and the breaks in between is going to be where the love's at, right? Um, which will make the sexual connection even better. Okay. So at first, like I was, oh, got me a little scared there. Like, are you trying to tell me that all this going on here? I will tell you like at this point right now, this person, okay, doesn't mean something's not going to happen here. And I will go into the extended reading to see what the outcome is going to be of this particular scenario here, the messages I'm getting. But at this moment, this person is on fire for you, the physical, on fire for you. And that is what is attracting them to you, that playing hard to get, because this person knows you are the shit. They know you are hot. They know you're looking good. Even if, and listen, don't tell me, no, I'm not, because even if you're not feeling that way about yourself, doesn't mean other people aren't viewing you that way, okay? Because we all have our up and down days, right? Some of you might just be like, I'm almost hot. I'm, you know, I'm, I've been working on myself. No, you look good. Let me tell you why. I'm not even looking at you, but let me tell you, because Virgos have that allure. Virgos have that magnetism. There's just something about them. Virgos could just like roll out of bed, not shower for three days, not brush your teeth, have a zit out here and, you know, their clothes are too tight. They've had too much Kentucky Fried Chicken the past week, but they, for some reason, people, have you ever noticed you go into the store and you're looking like you feel yourself like you're looking like your worst and then you get people are looking at you and you're like oh man I must look horrible they're not looking at you because you look bad they're looking at you because you look good and you're like does this person even see me are they even aware no because you exude you got this aura so quit putting yourself down right I mean go get a shower though you know go brush your teeth please but yeah you you just have that aura you have that magnetism this person's like crazy attracted to it you need to be laughing and loving yourself and enjoying yourself in your best moments and in your worst. All right, let me see what's going on. Okay, stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. That's what I'm saying. So the sexual aspect is going to be like wham, bam, and get that over with. But the relationship itself will be enduring. Okay, but I will go into the extended, like I said, to see how things are going to play out. Um, there's a level of stability that can be had in this connection if if at least this person feels this way they're coming in stable they are they're coming in very stable let me see okay and intuition you already know the answer you seek okay so your intuition is leading you like i said now for those of you who this is a past person that things just kind of fell to the wayside i want to see what they're their emotions are here and this is only for those who have this past person coming back that want them back okay only those that care you don't know how hard it was to let you go okay so either you initiated a breakup or an ending or they did either way you might be feeling like oh this person doesn't care they let me go right i don't feel like oops i don't feel like that's the case i don't feel like it was easy for this person I don't really feel like, I don't know if they had to let you go or they let you go because there was whatever the reason was, I feel like this person didn't really want to, either they had to, but whatever the reason was, you know, whoever initiated it, it was hard for this person to do that. Okay. But they accepted it. 
they did. They said, okay, they didn't chase. They didn't, they didn't reach back out to you. They just let it go. But you know what? I don't feel like, I, 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 I feel like they've accepted it, but I feel like they're not giving up here. Integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals? That's just it. I don't feel it. So this person is like, this is not what I want. I feel like they, they let go because, well, I feel like they didn't chase because of integrity. I feel not because of pride. Okay. Because I feel like this person didn't chase because it's what you wanted or they didn't chase because they didn't want to hurt you because they weren't capable of giving you what you needed. That's what I feel like. But you're also asking yourself this question of somebody from your past is coming back in. Does this person align with my values and morals? I feel like that's a really big question for some of you, you know, to be asking yourself if this is something you want to do, uh, if you want to entertain this again. Okay. I know that I crossed the line with you, but yeah, this love, this person like there, it's true love. This person does have true love for you. That doesn't mean hold the hold the phone that doesn't mean you got to entertain it again okay that's completely up to you and i'm never going to tell you what to do but th this is a true love connection here I, I feel that energy okay and this person is you know no matter how long you've been apart this person is still crazy in love with you you are their true love um once that's once that's determined in somebody's heart then another person is their true love and that doesn't work out um, they're, they're never forgotten. And even if they get involved in another relationship, they're married to someone, they always keep that small little piece of their true love in their heart. And I feel like this person, see, th like they're not fully, like, yeah, they accept and they know, okay, it's done, whatever. And remember this is for the past person, but man, you are still their true love. You are the one and only. And I feel like they're going to come in and, you know, try to reestablish something here with you now for others you know this person you're currently dealing with you know obviously this is a true love connection here and this person's truly in love with you and for those of you who are like who the hell is this i don't have anybody uh this might be somebody you could be meeting and this might be something that plays out where you guys connect and then there's a, a separation for a little bit very small little bit of time and then reestablishing the connection again okay so this person okay very intimidated by you very they hid themselves from you this person didn't feel like they deserved you um you know even if they're with you right now there's still this keeping up appearances keeping up a mask um not not with the intention to like hurt you but to protect themselves because I, I just got a sense with this person that virgos you know okay don't argue with me you know that you're a perfectionist but you do have a big heart and when you love you love fully but you know you are like the helper of the zodiac if you love someone and you and you see them doing something or acting a certain way or whatever you know you you don't you don't make um you don't analyze their behavior so that you can cut them down you kind of look at it and you're like well i think you would be better if you did this you might be dealing sometimes virgos um maybe it's just your delivery for some of you um maybe it's just a matter of like trying to help someone but like you know I mean, you can't protect every single person the way they feel like that's on them. They got to like deal with their own emotions. But I feel like whoever this person is, um, they hide a lot of stuff because they want to be the like the ultimate best for you. And it's hard for them to even be that to themselves. They struggle with that. So they kind of put on a little bit of front. So they might, you know, um, if you meet this person, they might show up in a fancy car, for example, and you think it's their car and they kind of lead you to believe it is, but it's actually like later you find out, well, it's actually not my car. I'm in the process of buying it for my brother. So they kind of lead you into thinking it is going to be their car, but it's really not. So it's all about impressions. This person kind of just doesn't, they're like a little bit of a half truther, which is still, you know, telling lies, but they, they do kind of make some 
they, in some ways they are a little deceptive because they don't want you to see them in a, in a negative light, um, especially you know, meeting this person or you know this person or knew them and they weren't in a really good place, but damn it, they fell in love with you and I don't know that this person has expected this to happen and they, they don't, I don't, it's like they don't want you to look at them and say, well, okay, yeah, I love you, but you, you could like, you could like change your shoes if we're going to go out and wear different shoes and maybe they don't have a good pair of shoes so they go and borrow some shoes from somebody like anything to impress you weird well it's not weird i mean people do it you know what i mean when people meet or when they're in a relationship you know they're trying to put their best foot forward but i feel like this person's putting somebody else's foot forward <laughs> you know hiding who they really are okay in the sense of like oh you know or hiding their maybe their grief or sadness from past relationships and acting like everything's fine just a little bit of a mask all right what other messages are here okay secure home okay i like that so um some of you work in home security <laughs> maybe your security guard some of you um are you know locking up your doors putting some padlock padlocks on securing up the windows getting a little AT, ADT, you know, theft protection in your house. Um, some of you are just insulating. Um, some of you are securing a loan for a home. All that energy coming to play out here. I feel like it's nothing to do with love, but we're going into some general messages here. If love shows up, it shows up, right? Um, let me see here. Okay, good vibes. It's such a good vibration. Go out in the sun, Virgo, get some vitamin D, play with your kids, go to a playground, swim in the water, in the pool, the sea, play, play, play. Do something fun and enjoy your life, enjoy your day, enjoy your week. The energies are strong and powerful and all the world is your play place. Just love your life. And I feel like, Virgo, that is what you're doing. You know, happiness is a decision, right? We have to, when we wake up in the morning, we have to say, today I'm going to be happy. Today I'm going to strive to be happy. I'm going to strive to take things in stride. I'm going to stay focused on positivity as best as I can. You know, um, some sometimes we're successful, sometimes we're not, you know, but every day we strive for good vibes. We strive for positivity, right? We strive to take a look at, at negative situations and find silver linings, right? It doesn't mean all of a sudden, you know, once in a while, something external can happen to us that makes us feel happy. But when nothing else is going on, sometimes we just got to find ways to make us laugh. You know, I watched, um, oh my goodness. I was watching a YouTube video this morning and somebody made this Amber Heard Johnny Depp courtroom video with Jack Sparrow. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's, it's kind of like a um, parody. And I, I, you know, I watch YouTube. Uh, let me tell you what, I was LOLing outside at the top of my lungs. It was so funny. <laughs> and I don't, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm pretty like logical and level headed, you know, and I'm analytical, but to have something as goofy as that, like was cracking me up. And I, I realized to myself, I was like, Oh my God, I'm out here by myself laughing out loud at a video, a stupid video, <laughs> but it was so funny. And I would watch it like a hundred times. And, but I can tell you that I noticed a little bit of a shift because my mind most of the morning was focusing on my paperwork and the things I'm doing and my schedule for the week. And I just somehow clicked on that video and man, it just made all the work that I had to do so much more pleasant. That's what I'm talking about. Focusing on like, I don't know, watch something funny. If, if you need to get into that positive energy or go out and play, you know, things, you know, the energy, the energy moves after we move. It doesn't move. Energy doesn't generally move us unless you're like drinking pots and pots of coffee and doing Coke, which I hope you're not doing the latter, but the, we get moving energy starts moving after after we get moving not before all right let me see learning a new skill okay some of you are in school or you're taking some classes or you're reading some books you're learning some new school skills these are going to benefit you going forward in what way i'm not really sure it could be for career change it could be you're just brushing up on some skills some of you are doing something for business or you're just 
doing, doing something for social activities. So if that's your situation or you're, you're you know, reading some books or you're learning some new things, just keep that going. Um, there's a lot more. Keep your brain engaged and, you know, things are going to be positive for you. Okay. No contact, but it showed up in reverse. So there's some of you here who may have been no contact in the past and now you are you may not be reaching out to somebody but you are lifting the blocks okay so you're no you're you're kind of i feel like some of you are in this place like maybe before there was no contact somebody wasn't talking to you or you weren't talking to them and that was done purposefully and maybe on your side some of you might have been doing it on purpose to teach someone a lesson others of you might have been just doing it so that you could get a break and just kind of let some energy flow out. Um, and I feel like for those of you that were in a no contact situation, a lot of you are just like, you know, I don't give a fuck if somebody, I don't, I don't care. It doesn't affect me. How can it affect me? Like, what are they going to do? Like I'm healed or I'm in a more stable place. Like there's nothing somebody can say because Virgo, once you get yourself in that position, when you've healed or you've got, got your mind made up that you're, um, that you're good, that you're good if there's a sense of strength i feel coming from you in order for you to be in no contact or to release that in order for you to just get back into living your life and not feeling triggered there's a there's a sense of strength here where you know it's like it is what it is you know what i mean like it's like you're, i see you going in june no longer being bothered whether somebody reaches out to you or doesn't because you're on to bigger and better things in your life and of course virgo that's how it happens because once you start redirecting your energy to self and focusing on self that's when past starts showing up or that's when people start taking notice or you're more attractive all right one more. Okay, there you go. New love beginnings. For some of you, you've got a mother figure around you who's guiding you. Um, you are divinely blessed. Open your heart to receive. Love is coming in. Some of you are cherishing or spending more time with your children, your pets, and just really being one with love. Okay, love, love, love. Just joyousness, happiness. I don't even want to say happiness, joyousness, joy. Joy is a much more intense and profound word than happiness. Happiness is kind of like, oh, we're dancing, so I'm happy. Joy is like complete inner joy and fulfillment, you know? So that's that's how love is attracted. So when you're in a joyful position, you know, you exude that. Your behavior, your body language, your, your facial expressions, how you feel, all comes out through th those those ways. So when you're joyous people sense that people can pick that up and man that is so attractive people are attracted to joyful people people aren't generally attracted to you know people who are depressed and angry and you know all the time or just extremely moody and you know it's kind of a turnoff so i'm not telling you to use this as a tactic i'm just saying Get in your joyful energy. Find things to be grateful about. Find things in your life that are good and be joyous about that stuff. All right. They said get a moon message. But yeah, don't forget. I'm going to go in the extended to see, you know, what's going on with this person, how things are going to turn out between the two of you. Okay. The energy is gaining momentum momentum there you go so that's the message here things are starting to pick up especially in this month look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius okay so you could be dealing with a sagittarius who's coming in or who is in but is seeing things like the the whole picture um, some of you might have moon and sagittarius and this is just you kind of like all right i'm seeing things like the whole thing i step back i've had enough time to distance and i can see things for how they truly are and luck is on your side wow here we go moon and sagittarius again okay somebody's definitely connected with a sagittarius or will be or was in the past and that person's coming around or this is i'm just speaking to those of you who have that either you're a sagittarius sun and you got moons uh, virgo somewhere or you are um you've got sagittarius in your chart somewhere specifically the moon okay let's see another one and expect 
powerful change. Wow, that's amazing. Full moon and two new moons. So June 29th, major shift. I think I'm going to post that in the title here. Expect a powerful shift and change. Um, and also, like, your luck is going to change right around the, the end of the month, around the week of June 29th. Things are going to shift. The energy right now is gaining momentum. You know, that waxing moon energy. And I think... So the full moon is... It should be, as I'm making this video tonight, right? It starts. Um, so I feel like listening to this video, um, and around the time of the full moon, 14th, 15th of June, um, things are going to start, like you're going to be able to see the whole thing. That moon energy is going to give you that, it's going to shine light, okay, on, on your emotions and how you feel about things and seeing a whole big picture. I don't know what your bigger picture is, but... There's going to be like this aha moment, like, oh, I can, I see it now. I was, I was too um, zoomed in that I couldn't really see the whole thing, but I've panned out, and now I understand. And then, you know, that new moon energy on the 29th is going to be um, this, this luck. Your luck's going to change, and then it's going to be a powerful change in your luck. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. I'm so happy for you. All right. Um, let's take a look. Let's just see what the Chinese messages, Chinese signs are. And then I'm going to do some charms and then go right into your extended. Okay. Year of the monkey. Okay. Year of the horse. There you go. Somebody can't afford the gas. They're coming in on the horse. Okay. Year of the rabbit. Year of the Ox, stubborn. Okay, Year of the Rat, Year of the Tiger. All right, we've got Rat twice there. Monkey twice, oh boy. We've got Year of the Goat and Year of the Dragon. Okay, so either this is your person um, or you, or it's both of you. Or if it's not any of you, don't sweat it. Doesn't mean it's not your reading. It's just a message for those, more specifically for them. Okay. I'm gonna go right into the charms. Okay. So we've got a crab. Okay. Definitely, maybe a cancer. Some of you could be connected with a cancer. Zodiac sign. Um, hard shell, softy. They're softy on the inside, but they wear that hard shell, tough cookie on the outside. Um, now, some of you, maybe you have crabs. Hello, go get that dealt with. Some of you might be eating crabs or you're catching crabs. You live near a beach or you see a crab or as you're listening to this or later today, or you just saw one. Um, I always look at crabs as like sea spiders. I always feel like they're sea spiders because all those legs. Um, or somebody likes crabs or really eats, likes to eat crabs, or you'll be going to have crabs with somebody or some seafood. Okay, so we've got a cherub here. So that feels like um, Cupid's arrows. You know, there's a Cupid around you, a little cherub angel um, who's over this whole situation. Oh, yeah, here's that little beach. What did somebody say <laughs> when I was talking about this? Um, oh, guys, there's no way I'm going to be able to pick this up. Hold on. Yes, I got it. Okay, somebody was saying, oh, it's the colors of my bathroom tile floor, right? So I just want to throw that out there. Maybe you guys are getting a new bathroom tile put in or some kind of floor tile of some sort somewhere. You... You cut tile, you work with tile, or something like that. This is like a mosaic. So there might be some type of a mosaic connected to you in some way. And um, for others, I'm seeing a disco ball. Yes, they're giving me a disco ball. So maybe you're going out, doing a little, you know, dancing where there's a disco ball and all the lights, everything nice. 
maybe over the weekend or sometime this month you're going out dancing. They gave me one other message now. Hold on. I lost it. Oh, um, something is tremendously pixelated. Something about pixelation. I have no idea what that means. It's just something about pixels or pixelation. Okay. And also here there's a feather. So you might see a feather somewhere. If you do just a single feather, um, that's a message. Obviously with a cherub here, there's an angel watching over you or it's a loved one who's passed. This is a, a very strong sign. Um, or somebody likes to draw feathers. Like when, you know when people doodle? Um, when I doodle, I draw geometric shapes. When I doodle or weird geometric shapes, everybody pay attention to what you do, what you doodle, because that will tell you a lot about how your brain operates. You know, um, if you're more creative, somebody might draw feathers. You might be more creative or you might be more um, logical. I guess drawing patterns and shapes for me, it's it's like satisfying, <laughs> but I can draw eyeballs too, which is weird. Um, yeah, so something about um, doodling. You might be doodling right now. There's some doodles that you see. If somebody's going to create and sell doodles, which is interesting. Okay. Oh, here we go. They just gave me the fox and it fell. I think that was a peak. Oh, that's what happened. They showed it to me and then it went away. Somebody's peeking at you and thinking, man, you're such a fox. So I don't know how this person sees you. They might see you like if you're with them and you're doing something and they kind of like peek out the corner of their eye without you knowing and they're just like, man, Virgo is such a fox. Um, and for others, this person might see you somewhere, or see you online. It might have been an old like for some of you dressed up with like a mask on your face somewhere um doing something with a mask and you look foxy oh um, maybe you go to those like comic cons or maybe it's a halloween something or other um or you might meet this person at one of those things where they're like Virgo, such a fox <laughs> or somebody's name my last name might be fox or they live on fox street or there's um just the name Fox is connected to somebody. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that there. I, th I like your reading, Virgo. That was so much fun. Um, I'm going to go over the extended. So if you want to see like when this person comes in, they try to contact you, you know, what their energies are going to be, how things are going to play out going into, you know, the rest of the summer, the next full month and stuff like that and see like, you know, I mean, we have a pretty good idea how they're feeling about you and their emotions and how they're attracted to you and the passion and all, but let's see where this is going to go. Where, is it, where are you guys going to end up? Okay, where's the final destination? If that's important to you, some of you just want to know about the journey, but you know, I'll touch on all things. So that link will be below the video. So go over and check that out if this video resonates, if this reading resonates for you. And um, don't forget to join me over the weekend. Become a member of my channel and you can pop in the live stream chat and get a reading. I'm also going to do, so that'll be $9.99 a month, okay? But I'm also going to, I think this Saturday, open a live stream chat where if you don't want to join my channel, you could just pay once. Um, 20 bucks to get um, a mini reading from me because I know some of you don't want to commit to $9.99 a month and that's fine um, you don't have to but if you want to say you just want to pop in on Saturday and you're like you know I got something coming up coming up and I just need to find out how that's going to play out so I'll leave that information up in my community section tab here on my channel all right you guys love you very much and I will see you tomorrow take care